Finally, the writer suggests that salvage logging can aid in reducing the risk of catastrophic wildfires. Removing fired trees that fuel future fires can be reduced by logging. The speaker proclaims that evidence shows that the logging can exaggerate fire. Removing trees can alter the modest climate in the forest. Making it drear a euro, the machines and equipment used for logging result in soil compaction, which disrupts the regeneration processes. Interdisciplinary knowledge plays a significant role in environmental science. It gives a vast knowledge of multiple subjects to solve complex climatic issues. I acknowledge Michelle's point that individuals can become experts by focusing intensely on one subject, offering unique insights and innovations. Still, I argue the risk we take by ignoring interdisciplinary subjects as they give broad knowledge.
Environmental science is inherently interconnected. Drawing from biology, ecology, geography, sociology, and more, by having a broader understanding, we can better work on the complexity of environmental issues and develop holistic solutions. A. The article explores why scientists believe the previously discovered portrait of James Austin to be accurate. The reading passage outlines three main reasons to support the portrait's authenticity. However, the speaker differs from the points made by the author. He counters those reasons with three contrasting arguments. Firstly, the writer contends that historical documents link the portrait to Jane Austen. The researchers have come across the correspondence between Austen and her close relatives. In contrast, the speaker claims no solid evidence is attributed to Jane Austen's and the family's correspondence. Moreover, there needs to be a definitive mention of the painting.
According to the writer, aligning with the artistic style prevalent during Austin's era favors the portrait's authenticity. Experts have analyzed the techniques, materials, and stylistic elements in painting and compared them with other portraits of that time. On the other hand, the speaker claims that, in truth, the provenance of the discovered portrait is the cause of speculation. The history of the painting needs to include the gaps between its ownership, resulting in a need for an apparent document change of custody. It raises questions about the portrait's authenticity and the possibility of mistaken identity. Finally, the writer suggests that the picture depicting Jane Austen is the striking facial resemblance between the subject and other portraits of the author's immediate family. The speaker proclaims that artistic historians argue about the subject's features, the nose's shape, the eye's structure, and other defining traits suggest that the rediscovered portrait may represent someone other than Jane Austen.
My favorite hobby is to play football. I started playing football when I was eight years old. Till seven years. I did not play football. I started knowing about football when one of my friends told me about it. After he told me about it, I just tried to play it. I could not play it correctly the first time I wanted to play it. But I enjoyed it. After I started playing football with my friends. I can now play football very well. And I am happy about it. It is the first I have heard of social loafing. It is a decrease in personal effort in any group task. The professor in the lecture explained social loafing with a great example. An experiment was conducted on people who got an ordinary task of peeling potatoes in a given amount of time. Some people worked alone and were told that the number of potatoes peeled would happen. And the others who were peeling potatoes in groups were told that the recording of only the total number of potatoes peeled would occur. Then, an average score of people was recorded.
The people working in groups peeled fewer potatoes than those who individually peeled the potatoes. It is due to social loafing and the need for more personal efforts. The man in the lecture is not convinced that hiring more doctors in the health center will allow everyone to get quality treatment. The health center should be open on weekends, too, as it is now open from Monday to Friday. He thinks the main problem is that the health center needs to be more significant. There needs to be more space. The problem will only be solved when the construction of more treatment rooms or offices will happen. The second point is that the health center should be open on weekends too. But most students are absent on the weekends because they leave the campus on weekends for holidays. More often. And there is no demand for treatment on these days.